Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. You're watching how to mod or hack any game, Android game. Has to be offline though. And yes, you do need root. We're going to be using what I call the big free apps or hacking software, which is Game Guardian, these two here, and Game Sheet and Game Killer. So I got Game Killer out already, so we're going to start with that one. We're going to be modding Temple Run 2. Um, we're going to be using Game Sheet as well and Game Guardian. But I like to start out with Game Killer because that is one of the best apps. You can simply get it from the Play Store, believe it or not. Game Sheet, you can get it on Games um, Play Store, I think. Game Guardian, you can't get it on the Play Store, unfortunately. But um, Game Killer is one of the most reliable ones, so I, I'd say used these um use game killer as opposed to the other ones so i've already modded it but i'm gonna um unmod it so one for ten i'm just typing in the amount of coins i have one for ten oh double five five eight four auto identify you always have to do that Click auto identify unless you really know what you're doing. Next, you're going to want to click this data control and then you want to go to modify all values, then put it to whatever you want, as so. Obviously, I've already put it to 999, so that's a bit of a mistake. Let me put it back, put it 1747. There we go. Should be right now. There you go. You see, it just changed. So then again, if you wanna say put it back, you're gonna wanna search up. Already got it here. Go menus. Oh, before I say, oh, it's exited out of um, Game Killer by accident. Okay, where are you? Temple run two. There you are. If there is something like, let's say, such up zero auto identify, and it says six thousand items, you're gonna have to narrow it down a bit by you no know, buying, getting some some of whatever you're trying to mod. Say gems here. Let's say you get one gem, you're probably gonna find it easily, which is why you have to search your previous amount first, so zero, and then when you actually get it, you're gonna wanna search it again. So, um, anyway, one, seven, four, seven. So if it says found zero item, you're gonna wanna do it again, I auto identify. So it should come up. Menu, data control, modify all values. I'm gonna put it to nine 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 nine. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go play. Now you'll see proof that this has actually worked, and it's not just display because you'll see ten thousand ups up there, and you saw they only had one thousand. <laughs> Don't ask me, guys, how I'm doing this. Okay, glitch or what? Okay, there we are, one billion. So pretty cool. And I got another five thousand from that. that I don't need four gems. Now I've reached level three. Let's search up four. Okay. Now that you've bought some gems, try enhancing your power-ups. Okay. Three, now I can search it up. Should have found it. There we are. Whoa. Okay. Something wrong happened. Well, there you go, that's a demonstration of Game Killer. Now off to Game Sheet.
Okay. So you can see it's over here. Let's go over to temple one two. Search up three. I don't like game sheet, it's not reliable to me, but if you would like to use it, it's basically the same concept as Game Killer as as um as is Game Guardian. So I'm just gonna really just waste this. So two come on find it for me. If you do get Game Guardian to work or Game Sheet, please tell me how you did it. But I would have to say definitely, definitely get Game Guardian. Definitely do that. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys next in my videos, later videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, please comment. Like, I hate going to my videos and seeing that there are no comments. I want to have loads of feedback, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.